All right. Well, it's 12.05, so let's get underway. It looks like uh, today will be a short meeting. Um, we're hoping to hear from you uh, what you would like us to focus on for the next six months. Um, and we also need to check in about the sessions next month uh, in Bloomington. Um, so why don't we start off with uh, the different sessions that we have. Um, all right. Can you see my screen now? I can see it. Okay. Um, so this is the Lowering Barriers to Metadata Curation session. Um, Kaylin, uh, I believe you have uh, all of the speakers that you need for this one. Is that accurate? Um. If someone was interested in participating in the session, we can make room for one more speaker. Okay. So um, if, uh, if there's someone on the line who is interested in participating, uh, uh, please let us know. We can definitely make, make room for that if you're interested, and we welcome anyone who wants to participate. Okay, and um, this session is... Um, to, to do with uh, making it easier for like an information manager to curate their collection or like what exactly would you be looking for from a speaker? So I'm, I'm fairly open-ended on what would qualify for the session, whether it's, um, you know, helping people write their own metadata from a data provider side or if you are a, a data repository person and you're looking at ways to make it easier to curate your metadata there. I'm definitely open to, because those are all pieces of the process, right? So anything sure. that kind of fits into that workflow is fine with me, it's good with me. Okay, um, and uh, I think that that um, kind of fits in with, with the other sessions. So if there are um, people who are interested in um let's see oh, is that the next day dang it every screen is lowering barriers all right <laughs> um here Kaylin? We go. yes Oh hey, it's Tyler. Um, hey, so, Tyler. Um, hey, so I, I know I'm planning to to, to give a short um, talk in this session. Um, how much time were you looking for? Um, I, I'm not sure how many people you have lined up for the session already. Um, how about how about this? Let me uh, touch base with you this week on the time. It, it will depend on if we have anyone else who wants to participate. Okay. So I right now we have like three or four. So. Um, I'll check in with you at the end of the week and, and give you a approximation on the time. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, and so our other 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 session is uh, entitled "Documentation Systems: Solution for Metadata Curation and Creation." So this one is is really focusing on um, you know a system that you're providing to people to help them to, to create um, their documentation. So, you know, this would be something like, my uh, organization uses Medicat um, to create our, our files. This is the, the setup that we have for um, our information managers to create documentation. This is how we, um, you know, ensure that the metadata records they create are, um, you know, contain everything that we need them to to do. Um, and in this session, we are definitely looking for at least one more uh, speaker. Um, and current talks are from the uh, CMR and um, 
I believe Emma. Uh, so if there if there was a um, uh, I don't think there's anybody from USGS on the line, is there? Um, if we had someone from from USGS to uh, speak about a documentation system that they're using, uh, that would be great um, to cover the bases with the, the big three. Um, but uh, it would also be great to get the perspective of a smaller organization. Um, and maybe they can uh, use this as an opportunity to learn from, from the big guys what has worked and uh, what needs needs improvement. Um, Matt, I know that I had uh, spoken with you about joining this session earlier. I know that you had conflicts, but w was there anyone attending that could speak to uh, the, the system that's being created at NCAR? Um, I, I can check. Um, uh, did you, had you talked with Don Stott? Yeah, um, you know, Don's really great at uh, putting the putting the stuff together, but um, uh, I think that uh, he ben he would benefit from some help in in sharing that. Um, okay, I well, haven't gotten a chance to talk to him for a while. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can check just to see who else is going to the ESIP meeting. Um, yeah, I'm guessing there are a number of Vencar people, and so there might be. Yeah. If, if Sophie or Bob had had the time. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'll check on that. Okay, that would be great. Um, Heather, uh, you are uh, the one person on the line who um, hasn't chimed in yet. Do you have an interest in joining either of these sessions? I would love to if I could be there, but that's okay. what Anna on Anna is going to do. Um, yes. So. Yeah, I'm just representing our team. So okay, I, I wish I could go. Travel funds, awesome. Well, um, you know, we will have all of these sessions open remotely, so uh, please do feel free to join in and at least get the information. Uh, if not, yeah. the uh, co -location. I was gonna email somebody about that because I can't find any of the virtual information on on their website yet. But I'm gonna email someone separately about that. Because, yeah, a lot of people do attend and listen in. Um, but do you have people that present virtually? Um, we are actually going to try that uh, this year um, and, and see how well it, it works out. I mean, I know that, you know, for probably all of us on this call, it's fairly common to, um, to join a, a presentation remotely. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it works out and, uh, with a, a larger audience in the same room and the, the presenter offsite, I think, you know, with, uh, some of the improvements to, uh, applications like GoToMeeting, um, sharing the video may, may get us a little bit closer to, uh, a full, full experience. So um, we'll try it out this time, see how it goes, and then um, maybe in the future uh, we can incorporate that in. But if you have an idea um, for a, a monthly call that we could do in the next six months, um, that would be great because we're always we're always looking for for good calls. And if the rest of you have ideas about um, presenters or have an idea that you want to share with the group, um, this would be a great time to let us know because we do need to plan those those calls out um, for uh, August through December. Hey, Sean. Yes. It's Hi, um, just a, a word on the remote presentations. Dan Keyes has been working on making sure that that two-way audio will work, and we had pretty good success with it at the winter meeting, and we're doing a similar thing at the summer meeting. So I think. Oh, great! Yeah, that was that was really helpful last year, and I think it'll really uh, facilitate um, offsite presentation. And I'm looking. I think that um, 
the GoTo meeting information will be added to the sketch site if it isn't already there. I'm not seeing it, but um, yeah, Erin, I wasn't seeing it. I was looking at maybe emailing you about that, so I didn't know you were on the call. Yep. Hey, sorry, I joined a little bit late. No, that's fine. You were here last, uh, like, what, a week ago or so? Or was it last week? I don't know. <laughs> so I, from, I forgot to ask about that. Um, but as far as, like, NCI-ness right now, it's just, there's so much going on and changing right now. It's hard for us to, for people like me, it's hard for us to present on stuff because I'm not sure what's functional yet, what's operational. You know, things are changing so much right now. Um, so we're not trying, I'm not being personally hesitant just because I don't want to be. It's just we're kind of in a gray area right now. So I will speak up when I can and present when I know something is solid and operational. Um, but okay. yeah, I, we're, we're kind of still being in the shadows for right now. All right. Um, I, I, I will mention that, um, you know, even uh, a call about some of the, the issues that you've been having, um, you know, might generate some, some good insights for your team. Uh, so, you know, maybe if you don't uh, don't have anything that gels um, just yet, you might still be able to um, give a good presentation. I think that's fair. Um, we have a weekly meeting and actually just got off the phone call with that and we probably won't meet for two weeks, but maybe by next meeting I'll have some ideas and I'll run that by them to see if we can present and let you guys know what's going on. Thanks, Heather. I appreciate that. That sounds great. All right. Um, does does anyone have uh, ideas for speakers uh, for the next six months? Um, this doesn't have to be somebody that uh, you personally know. Um, you know, if you give us give us a, a lead, you know, with who the person is, maybe they're LinkedIn or organizational website um, and an email address if that's not included in the um, in their 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 web information um, we can cold call them uh, and and present an idea to them about uh, speaking to the group um, so uh, if you guys have any ideas um, I'd be happy to try and make those um, presentation proposals into reality. Sean, this is Matt. Um, I don't have a, a speaker suggestion per se, but I guess I have maybe a topic that I'd be interested in hearing about. You okay. guys might have a good, could even be one of you who has a lot of knowledge about this. And maybe you're gonna be addressing it at the meeting as well, but um, uh, what we're working on here at NCAR in, in terms of metadata is, um, you know, kind of a, a big integrated portal, which everyone is, uh, has already done or is, is doing now. And we're really sort of having some issues with the new versus old ISO, and we're kind of trying to accommodate both while our tools are more focused on old. And so mm -hmm. I guess the general topic of sort of level of tooling for dealing with the new uh, 2014 ISO, um, and, and maybe just sort of the general topic of transitioning from one to the other in terms of not just metadata transitions and, and mappings and so on, but sort of the tooling and, and, and some of that stuff um, for creation, you know, kind of what's the level of effort to do that. Yeah. Um, we're really dealing with this sort of two schemas in one type thing right now. Yeah, I know that, I know that uh, tools have come up a lot um, for me in my research um, with uh, some of the ecological communities. Um, so I did a, a study of um, completeness for the, the LTER recommendation uh, among different uh, member nodes at Data One that use EML. And um, we sent out uh, a, a paper that we are um, working on right now to some of the information managers at, at the different um, member nodes and a lot of the feedback they got that, that we got were, hey, we use um, MediCat and MediCat only allows us to enter in these these fields. So we, we can't include this other information. Um, 
which makes me kind of think that uh, tools impose their own uh, recommendations as well in a way. Um, but I do know that, uh, you know, like I think, I think the system that you're using the tool only understands the, uh, the older version, version of ISO, right? Yeah. Well, we're using CCAN as the portal system and there's a plugin, uh, that, uh from NOAA, I, I believe. And so maybe somebody on the call worked on that, but, um, which, yeah, it, it incorporates the, uh, uh, 2003 ISO into CCAM. And so we kind of have a, you know, dual workflow where um, different groups can generate um, uh, 2003 ISO and sort of goes in natively, or they can generate 2014 ISO, and then there's a conversion process in between. Um, but what that ends up is we kind of have this proliferation of metadata tools and transforms and widgets and so on. And we are talking about at some point transitioning to just fully support 2014 and, and kind of not use the 2003, but um, the levels of tools aren't there in terms of data create metadata creation and uh, um, sort of uh, that kind of stuff. So we're, like I said, we're sort of in a point where we'd like to be using the more new, you know, the newer schema for obvious reasons, but the level of tooling is definitely not where it is for the older schema. And so that's right. kind of a betwixt in between, I guess. Yeah, and I mean, I think that that, that has, um you know, informed the decision-making processes that, you know, organizations throughout um, our field, you know, I, I, organizations that use CSDGM come to mind. You know, if, you, if you've if you got your, all of your tools are, are focused on this one dialect, um, you know, it's, it's difficult for you to, to use something else. Um, yeah, so, so, so maybe, I honestly uh, think that that a, would be a, a great uh, presentation during the the documentation systems uh, session. Um, it might it might even might even give get some some good feedback uh, from some of the yeah, I'll, organizations. I'll put out the, a note to the people who are the organizing committee for that project and see if anybody's able to attend and even do a okay. presentation. I could help with the presentation. Uh, I just probably won't be able to attend myself. Yeah, I think that you had a, a time conflict at the, you had a session yeah. that you were running at the same time or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, this okay. is Heather. We have a whole team doing, um, it's called a set team working on that transition for us here at NCEI. Uh, Anna, I believe, is part of that. Um, but I don't know if the lead is attending ESIP or not. I'll have to look into that. Okay. Yeah, but that might that sounds like that might actually be a, a pretty fruitful place. call that uh, might might produce some something actionable. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So I just sort of nominate that as a topic for a a, a monthly call if if you are okay. able to identify a good speaker for that. I think I know a person or two that deals with ISO. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, you know, sometimes get lumped into that that category as well. Although I really don't uh, <laughs> know the dialect as well as uh, many other people in in our field, in our uh, cluster. Um, All right, well, uh, does anyone else have uh, anything that they want to add to today's call? Um, I, I think uh, personally I'm satisfied. <laughs> and it sounds like that may be the consensus. <laughs> uh, no, just, Bruce, just wanted to remind you guys if you have a poster, um, for your your clusters that uh, we can show at the meeting, that'd be great. I don't know when when you last did a poster. I can uh, check to see if it was. I, I, I believe that that date may uh, still be in the future. Um, okay. Uh, the the topic of, of putting together a, a poster has been um, 
brought up multiple times. Um, unfortunately, nobody's taken the, the lead on that yet, um, but it is still a goal that I share with you. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for your time and attention today. Um, please feel free to contact Kaylin or I uh, with ideas, concerns, or um, hopes for participation in any of the sessions uh, at ESIP. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next month in Bloomington. Yay. Wish I could be there. Have a good week, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.